The NIA workers embarked on the industrial action over what they described as poor working conditions and the government's delay in concluding negotiations on their allowances. Their strike halted operations at all NIA offices, leaving many applicants who needed the Ghana card for important transactions in limbo. An intervention by major stakeholders was timely and applicants are happy. We came here on Monday to do the new card because I don't have it and we couldn't do it because they said they were on strike. I'm fine, I have the card now. Yeah, because I really need it. I, I needed to do some stuff. So yeah, now I have it so I can do what I have to do. Well, I'm really happy they resume because I needed a card for a uh, bank account and also to pay my fees. You see, in university, before you pay your fees, you need you need to use your card. When do you expect to get your card? How urgent is it? Ah, today, I want to get it today. On Wednesday, June 12th, the Labor Commission declared that the strike was illegal and unwarranted, ruling that it contravened Section 161 of the Labor Act 2003, Act 651. Some applicants contend that considering the importance of the Ghana card, government must address the concerns of the NIA staff. No, it is very, very important um, that the government should, I mean, address their concerns because this one, it is bringing a lot of struggles and a lot of problems. The Ghana card has come to stay and right now we are in the digital world. So without a Ghana card, there are a lot of activities or a lot of things that you want to do in this country, you, you won't be able to do it. There is no doubt that a strike by the NIA staff had a tremendous impact and the suspension means a lot to stranded applicants. But there is a caveat. The NIA staff are saying that if government does not grant the institution specific allowance by Friday, they will resume the strike. And so they are hopeful of a positive feedback after that crucial engagement with government on Friday. Christian Yale, TV3 News, NIA Head Office, Accra.